Over the past two weeks, we unlocked some powerful skills for your animation journey. First, we mastered how to create multiple consistent characters in one scene. Then we leveled up and learned how to bring those characters to life with smooth animation and dynamic dialogue. If you happened to miss any of those tutorials, no worries. I've added the links in the description below so you can catch up at any time. Today we are taking things to a one new level. I promised to show you how to give your character a longer consistent voice across all your scenes. If you've been using Google VO3 to generate animation with audio, you've probably noticed the voices change from scene to scene, and that really breaks the flow. Here is the thing, consistency is key in storytelling. When your characters sound different in every scene, your audience loses that emotional connection and your animation starts to feel less professional. A consistent voice helps build character's identity, make your story more believable and keeps your viewers fully amazed from start to finish. This is exactly what we're going to do. Be sure not to skip any part of this entire tutorial to get the best out of it. And if you're new to our channel, consider subscribing because more value awaits you. Here we've got the dialogue scene that we generated using ChatGPT and over here are the characters we created with OpenAI. And don't worry, I would leave the links to all the tools I'm using in this tutorial in the description so that you can easily follow along. The first step, we will be creating key scene images for each character on a green screen background using OpenAT AI. And trust me, this part is super important for what comes next. Here on OpenAT AI, come to image and select create image. From there, click on the switch button and select the first character who starts the conversation in your story. From there, select my characters. According to the story that I have, there are four characters. Ethan is the one who begins the conversation who is this character so i'll select ethan from there we select prompt and reference now here is the key describe the position of each character based on the story mood and tone of the scene that means detailing character position how their hands and legs are placed and even the expression in their eyes these details make your animation look natural and consistent the more precise your prompt the more natural and believable your animation will be. So I'll just paste in a prompt that describes how my character is positioned and everything. I used ChatGPT to come up with these details. And I also emphasized to say my character should be on a chroma key background, which is a green screen background. From there, we scroll down a little bit and select the aspect ratio to be 16 by 9. Because of the type of videos we'll be creating, we set the number of images to 2 and we hit create. From the generated images, I think I really love how this one looks. Now, before we proceed to the next character, what we simply have to do is upscale this image. By simply clicking on the ultimate upscale, it will open in the new tab. What you simply have to do is click create upscale. Once the image is upscaled, we can download it into our PC and go back to open up AI. We repeat the same process and generate the kissing images of our second character. According to my story, the next character who follows up is Maya. So we go back and we select a character who represents Maya. In my case, I will go for this character I named Isabella. And from there, delete this prompt and paste in a prompt that fully describes the position of my character. Once pasted, we hit create. After generating the images twice, I really love how this image turned out to be. I love the position of my character and everything about it. All I have to do is upscale my image. Once the image is upscaled, download it into your PC and repeat the same process of creating kissing images for your remaining characters. The second step is turning the generated images into videos or animating the characters with mouth movements. Again, the body movement and facial expression depends on the story mood and tone. You need to describe exactly how your character is expressing themselves. Are they calm, sad, upset, or angry? This is very important because it brings your characters to life and makes the animation feel real. While well, we are still on OpenAT AI, we will select a video and here we will upload an image that we would love to convert into a video. We'll start with the image of our first character. You can select upload if the image is saved in your PC or select history, that's if you never downloaded it and it is within OpenAT AI. Or you can directly create a video from your character. I'll just drag and drop it like that. 
from there I need to select a model. For this one, I highly recommend Kling 2.1. It works pretty well with this type of videos that we are creating. It highly follows the details in the prompt and I found the results to be very accurate compared to these other models. From there, we passed in a detailed prompt that describes the action of our character and the entire body expression. From there, select the duration to be 10 seconds and the quality mode to be master. And from there, just add in some few negative prompts and hit create. Once the video is generated, let me play for you to see exactly how it looks. Perfect. Our character is doing exactly what we wanted it to be doing. If you have reached this far, consider subscribing to our channel and turn on the notification bell. And don't forget to hit the like button if you're getting any value from what you're seeing. From here, before we animate the remaining characters, let's generate a voiceover for this character and lip sync it. Just come over to Eleven Labs and select text to speech. From here, Go to your story and copy the first line of your first character. Paste it in Eleven Labs. From here, select a voice that will suit your character's personality and attributes. For this is the consistent voice that you're going to be using throughout the entire video. Once you select a voiceover, just hit generate. And if you're happy with the way it sounds, just download the audio file. Once the audio file is downloaded, Let's lip sync it with the video we've just created. Just come to Dream first and select Video Lip Sync. Just upload the video file of your character talking. When the video is uploaded, select it. From there, select Audio here on your right and select Upload Audio and upload your audio. When the video is uploaded, just hit Generate. And Dream first will lip sync your character with the audio that you've just provided it. I still don't get it. How can people spend weeks modeling characters from scratch when AI can generate them in minutes? Now that we've lip synced our video, let's download it into our PC and upload it to any editing tool of our choice. For this tutorial's example, I'll be using Premiere Pro, but do not worry, you can follow my exact simple steps or you can use any editing tool that you are comfortable with. Here in Premiere Pro, the first thing that we want to do is upload the video that we've just lip synced on the timeline here. Just drag and drop it here and you'll see your file. Now, our character is not alone. There are other supporting characters in this scene. Let's generate the videos of our remaining characters where they're just calmly seated, focused, and listening to what this first character is saying. Close this tab, delete this image, and upload the image of your other character. So we'll say this character is quiet, calm, confident, and patient, keeping our eyes focused. We'll leave the duration to 10 seconds and the quality mode to master and we'll leave the negative prompts as they are and we click create. We do the same things for the remaining character. Once we generate videos of our character quietly and listening, we download them into our PC and upload them to Premiere Pro. We just drag and drop them here in our project panel. From there, we drag them on top of each other like this. From here, we zoom them in to match our aspect ratio. Just select the video and increase the scale until it fills up your entire screen. Once we zoom them in, what we want to do is to trim them out to match the duration of our first video. Once we are done trimming our images, before before we proceed editing this video and removing the green background, what we would love to do next is to create videos where these two characters respond back to what this character said. So to achieve a continuation part of this six second clip, what we're going to do is drag our playhead to the last frame of each video and extract an image. This is our final frame for this video. To extract this image, we can simply hover our mouse on this camera icon and give a name to this image. We select the format to be PNG and from there we select a folder we're going to save this image in and we click OK. So we hide this video and we go to the next video which is this one of this boy and we repeat the same process of clicking on the camera icon, select the format, select the destination of your photo and hit OK. Repeat the same process even for the third character just like the way he's positioned. From there animate the extracted images according to what they're supposed to do next. This ensures continuity and consistency. Before you animate them I highly recommend that you upscale these images. Once you upscale them, 
open OpenAI AI and upload the image of the character who is supposed to talk next, type in a prompt that describes how they are talking, choose the duration and the quality mode, and hit create. According to my story, the one who has to respond to what the man is just from saying is the female character. So I'll make sure I animate the female character in that regard. Then for the remaining two male characters, I'll animate them where they're just quietly listening to what the female character will be saying. Our female character is talking in an exact manner we wanted her to be talking. And our male characters are just quietly listening to what the female character is saying. So we'll download these videos of our male characters into our PC. From there, what we want to do is to generate an audio file of our female character, then lip sync it exactly like we did with the first character. We go back to our script and we copy exactly what our female character has to say. We go back to 11 labs, we paste in the exact line for our female character, and we choose a voice that we're going to use for our female character throughout this entire video. Select the suitable voice and hit generate. You like how it sounds? Hit download. Once downloaded, go back to DreamFace, upload the video and the audio file of your character. Once we are done lip syncing, we download this video and the two videos of our male characters and upload them to Premiere Pro. Once we upload them on Premiere Pro, we arrange them in order. From there, we scale up their sizes. From there, we trim them out to match the duration of our video with a voiceover. From there, to make this character talk, we repeat the same process that we just followed. We drag our play header to the last frame of every video, then we extract a final frame from that video. From there, we go back to open up AI and animate the images. From there, we generate a voiceover specific for this character. And once we are done, we lip sync everything and upload the lip sync video back into Premiere Pro. Now, before we remove the green screen, we need a background that will be suitable for our video. I created this background image that I'm going to use for this video. Just increase its size up to the final end like that. From there, just drag it at the bottom of all your videos. The next thing that we're going to do is to remove the green background and position our characters accordingly. Add some shadows and color correction and little elements to make our video pop and smooth. So to remove the green screen, just select the video you want to remove the green screen and here under effects, just search for ultra key and drag it on top of the video you want to remove the green screen from. From there, you will see this option appear. Just select the color picker tool and drag it over the green surface. Just select it and you'll see the green disappear from your image. From there, repeat the same process with the remaining videos. Just select your second video, which let me hide this one. We've just removed the green screen from. We grab the ultra key and we drop it on the video we would love to remove the screen from. Again, we select the color picker too, and we select the blue screen. And we'll see the blue screen disappear. So we repeat the same process for the remaining videos. Once we remove the background screen, it's time to position my characters accordingly. When we observe carefully, this is the position of my character and the scale of my character in the scene. The adjustments I'm going to input here are the same adjustment I'm going to use throughout this scene for this specific character. When we come to this next character, this is the scale and position for this second character. The adjustments I'm going to make, I will just copy them and use them in my second scene when this character will be talking. So I wanted you to keep note of that. So let's start with this character. Just select the video of your character on the timeline and move the position of your character here like that. I think he will do much better down here and I can scale him up or down a little bit depending with what I want. But you can take your time when it comes to this part. Just make sure you take as much time as you need. From here, I repeat the same process for my next character. I'll move the position and the scale of this second character. I think I'll increase the scale of my first character and reduce the scale of my second character. 
And from there, I'll position my third character. Once we are done positioning our characters, we use their exact positions in the remaining video clips. This ensures consistency and continuity in our remaining video clips. From there, you can add some shadows and color correct your entire video, keeping the colors consistent. Plus effects and graphics around your video carefully, ensuring the story flows well. And not only that, but you can make sure that you smooth out your cut and transitions, add some background music and some captions to your video. And once all that is done, you can export your video in high quality. I encourage you to take your time in this process, making sure that your video has all the details correctly and nothing else is missing. So this is how the final product looks. If you found value in this tutorial, consider subscribing because more value awaits you. From here, let me see you in this next amazing animated tutorial. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I would really be glad to help out. God bless you. I still don't get it. How can people spend weeks modeling characters from scratch when AI can generate them in minutes? Because not everyone trusts AI yet, Ethan. Some prefer the traditional way but I've seen what this new tool can do. It's insane.